uh, yeah, I think uh, it is kind of crazy because I do feel like you were kind of like you had a, a crazy run, bro, because yeah. you ended up going super viral, doing the fashion show shit, working with X. How did you and X initially link up? DMs like that. Pretty much, I looked up to X like my whole career. Like that was my favorite artist. You know right. what I'm saying? And I would DM him, and then he hit me back like. But the way he hit me back was like he knew me, like it was my friend already. You right. know what I'm saying? And when we would chop it up, he would just tell me so much like info on like just like what to do and like how to do it, like write out your own deals, all that type of mm -hmm. shit. Like just real grown game. You get what I'm saying? Like big bro shit. You feel right. me? But we never met, but we would always chop it up on online. You on feel DM. Me? Like we would FaceTime for hours though. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like just talking. You get what I'm saying? Like. Play the game together, all that type of shit. And then, but we never met, but we were all, and I was sending music, he was sending me shit. And then we made the song and he put it on the album. It was like three people on that album. You know what I'm saying? Was it you? Was Travis, Joey Badass on the yeah, album? Yeah, and Travis uh, Barker. Yeah? yeah? That's crazy. That is wild because that is a important album in history now. <laughs> we look back. That was his first, like, that was his first album. Yeah, no, it was. Well, wasn't that his first full length album? No, it was maybe his... Or no, seven, was it 17 or the question mark yeah, shit? Yeah, 17 was his first... Okay, then yeah. it was the question mark shit. Because yeah. a question mark was on... Um, but he was always dropping projects, like... Right. From the jump, like little mini projects and stuff like that. But yeah, his full first project was 17, I'm pretty sure. Do you remember what your last, like, exchange with him was before he passed away? Probably a FaceTime call. You know, we would just chop it up. I would send him music, you know? I would send him a song. I was sending him this song I was working on for him. He was supposed to hop on because when we did the... um song for his album it was like a swap so he would give me one for my I album. mean vice versa yeah, I was supposed to have another song but we never got it done damn man yeah tell me the story about Drake trying to buy one of your records oh so the reason I didn't do that was because I was cool with X you get what I'm saying and like and there was that kind of like weird beef that yeah was like... they had that shit going on so I just stayed out the way of that and then on top of that I linked that with um my boy like Oogie pretty much so he could just get the beat and now they got a bunch of So what of was it? So it was a it was a so Drake was trying to buy a song that you had already like cut? Yeah, I already made it. It was called Message and uh my manager pretty much told me my manager at that time told me that uh they was trying to buy the song for hundred and fifty thousand and I just denied it because it was like out of respect to X. Yeah, out of respect to X and then you know, it was just, it was like pick a side, you know what I'm saying? Choose right. your side, you know what I'm saying? And I just... I mean, he did a solid for you, put exactly. you on his album. That's my brother too, right. you know what I'm saying? Beyond all that, so I just had to stay down for that, you feel me? But, yeah. And now you say that producer's got tons of music with Drake? Yeah. That's crazy. Hell yeah. Do you, do you ever feel like you get in I'm on a Jumbotron song. Yeah, if you hear it, it's uh, Poppin' You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Mm -hmm. You hear my tag in that song. Do you feel like you get enough credit in terms of like some of the, like, because you've, I feel like you were ahead of the curve. Like, yeah, I mean, credit is credit, bro. If if people want to give me credit, that's cool. My ego done been dissolved and died. Like, I don't even exist, bro. Like, all this is a figment of your mind. You know what I'm saying? All that, oh, Maddox, this big celebrity, I'm a human being. I'm just like everybody else. Ain't no different. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I don't need no credit. Everybody actually takes influence and gives influence. That's the point of the game. You know what I'm saying? We are vessels at the end of the day. So I don't, my credit going to come. You know what I'm saying? Whatever credit, I'm, they going to see. They going to know. And people be talking. People be saying, they know. They know. The real ones know, right. at least. So like, when the people talk, oh yeah, Maddox made that sound. Oh, Maddox, zero degrees. Yeah, that's that's the blueprint of what people is doing right now. You get what I'm saying? Like a lot of the stuff I was doing back in the days is a blueprint. It's prodigy shit. You get what I'm saying? Like a lot of people not on it. And people can't understand it because it's just too ahead of time. 